Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Tosca interview question series based on real time or scenario based questions. So today's question is going to deal around how to buffer a portion of the text. Okay, so let's take a look at the scenario. So basically I'm using this particular demo website in which if you go to this particular element and if you fill in all these fields, you're going to get uh, something like this. Now our scenario is we have to pick this particular name. Okay like basically we have to buffer this particular value and use it in some other place okay so now uh, if you want to uh, buffer only this particular portion uh, how do we do that okay so let me get started with the scan I'll click on scan application I'll minimize this and once this is loaded I'll click on scan So if you are trying to get this particular element and this is separate then you would be able to capture this information but let's say this is coming in in one row okay then we have to extract somehow the portion of that text okay so how would we do that so here if I go to my module attribute and here if you see that this particular thing is unique but what it is taking it is taking ID and then it is taking tag okay so I can just use one more here to make it more stable okay. now here if we see there is nothing called value being loaded here okay so we'll probably use inner text for this okay and I can just write name here and I'll write uh, so this process is called dynamic buffering let me save it with this and I'll close this and we will take this particular module and create a test case okay now here if you see we have name thing populated here okay now in this if you see it is coming as name colon and this but we only want this particular thing okay so what we would do here is we will select the action mode as verify instead of buffer because we are going to capture a portion of the element okay now we have to write exactly how it is so I'll write name and here if you see colon and instead of buff b we will use xb and then we will write whatever buffer name you want to give it to so let's say uh, name to use or something like this okay just to make a difference between those two okay now from where this particular uh, property is going to come so we have taken a look it is coming from inner text so either we can write uh, or select inner text here or we can write it as well so what what would happen in this case is it will go to this particular element and then it is going to treat this as the static portion and then whatever is coming after this it is going to put it into this buffer okay so let's see if this works So this is very useful in case uh, we are going to get around situations where we have a whole text and we would just want to capture a portion of it okay so if you see here in the execution you will see in name to use buffer it education is populated okay we can validate that thing here with buffer viewer as well so if i click on this and here if you see this particular buffer has stored this value so we can reuse this okay now in case of normal buffers we use the action mode buffer but in case of uh, using xp we have to use action mode as verify so this is the most important point which people might miss so uh, to take a note of this that we need to use verify mode now wherever i want to use this i can use this buffer now so let's say uh, I want to use this buffer in in any other place so you can just use this particular buffer name as normal as 
uh, curly brackets b and then this particular buffer name and you should be able to use it in your script and this is how we portion uh, we buffer a a portion of the static text now second thing is is this the only approach no there is one another another approach we have the partial text module as well in which uh, which we can use so if you go to buffer operations here you have this partial buffer so you can mention the start end date and you can buffer this value as well but that but that is not more efficient method in terms of using in this particular scenario but there would be cases where you would need to use partial buffer so you can use that as well but in this particular scenario this is how we use this is also one of the most important question which could be asked in the interview uh, let me know uh, how you find my content uh, do like share and subscribe and have a great day thank you bye bye